How's it going folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here and welcome back to Dead Island Riptide Definitive Edition. I hope you all are doing fantastic today. <clears throat> there was a reason I am in this main menu right here and it is because I accidentally walked too close to the uh, uh, to the place, uh, to the quest marker or the objective we needed to go to in the last, or in between last episode and this episode. And the checkpoint started right at the beginning of the cutscene. So, whenever this starts, there will be a cutscene. I uh, just wanted you guys to see all of it. Basically, we walked to a bridge, and there was a log on it. So, we'll uh, we'll see where that uh, where that goes. Anyway, yeah. I'm just starting from there, because I don't want you guys to miss anything. We're still in Chapter 2. There is a way attacking the enemy's legs will quickly knock down or even cripple them. Oh, God. The road is down. Henderson, so close and yet so far. The road's gone, Harlow. Completely washed out. Damn it. I was hoping we'd catch a break. What should I do? Head back to Halai and see if they know another way to Henderson. It's the only real choice at this point. Okay. Alright. Well, it looks like we're going back to the Halai village. There are these two zombies. Oh. There we go. There's one, and there's two. Come on. There's two. Cool. All right. Well, welcome back to the game, everyone. Hope you all are doing fantastic today. <coughs> Let's see, we now have access to boats, which is really good because a lot of this place is marshland. Really nice. Uh, I'm still a bit unsure what these little totems are. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not even in the locations. So we have a workbench, we have boats right here. Fast travel, we have a landmark. And we have a car and an area transition, but these are just, I'm not sure. Alright, so we have a research laboratory. Uh, we stumbled across this in between episodes. It's right here. <laughs> Not too sure um, what it is, really. It looks like Geo Farm, but for this island specifically. Because right here, what's this? Uh, Puny Universal Axe. Oh, okay. Uh, right here it says Hyperplant Laboratories, Bioengineering Research, and Study. There is uh, no way we can currently get in. Although I have a feeling we'll be able to at some point. <clears throat> Alright, so looking back at the map. We have to go to the Halai village, so we'll probably be better off just taking a car, going on the bridge. <clears throat> so let's do just that, shall we? Oh. Truth be told, I don't really understand why we needed a boat. Uh, we have access to a bridge right here. And it's not like the car, uh... Can't survive that very shallow amount of water. Oh, we have a person here. Alright. I kind of just ran over those zombies for fun. What do you got? Oh, 2,000. Not bad. Hello. Hi, Luke. Here, this is for you. It ain't much, but it's all I have at the moment. I thought that was it, you know. I thought they had me. Well, they can't climb ladders, but sure. Achievement unlocked, or achievement progress achiever. You have skill points. All right. We have one skill point. We are now level 40. Sweet. Bleeding duration. I think. I think we'll get one level of serrated blade and poisonous, and then we'll just upgrade these three for a bit. What's this one? Blade stamina cost. And then, all right. Yeah. Cool. Got some money, and more money. Cool. <clears throat> all right. Let's turn left around a bit this way but yeah i'm not too sure why we needed a boat exactly we're perfectly fine just uh taking a car right halai is right here i guess we needed to get the i guess we needed a boat to get to henderson but okay all right so leave the car here <clears throat> we can travel the extra 100 meters or so but this is where we found the car originally just run down the steps All right, let's talk to the person back at the gate over here. She's like, hey, uh, Henderson's 
And no bueno. Let's recover some stamina. Twisted mind. Hey. hey. Uh, Jackson, find Marcus Vila. I secured the marina, but the road to Henderson was washed away in the storm. So I need to find another way. You know, if you help me, maybe I can help you at some point. Hmm? There's one brother who might be able to help you, but he's been gone for ages. We don't even know if he's still alive. Shame, too, because he meant a lot to the people here. Saved a lot of souls. He's a missionary named Marcus Vila. He's not local, but he knows the island like the back of his hand. Anyway, when we ran out of food, he went to fetch some from a store not far from here. That whole area was overrun early on, though. So like I said, he could be dead. All right, saving holy man. Help the missionary. Difficulty is four skulls. Uh, reward or XP is four skulls. And reward is claws. Ooh, yes. Those look super cool. Looks like Wolverine. DPS is low to medium. Force is low to medium. Durability is medium to high. I'm in. Go look for Marcus. He's the only one who knows another way to Henderson. All right. Saving Holy Man. Look for the missionary. Cool. So currently our inventory is mostly just uh, white tier weapons with a few green here and there. Probably sell these at some point. <clears throat> um, yeah, our best weapon currently is the awe-inspiring splitting axe and barbecue blade, which we are kind of sort of saving, but also not really because, you know, this is just our current modified weapon, which we got at the beginning. It's not too terrible. Um, I did grab a venom blueprint. Oh, team. Let's see. We have something. Something here. New quest available. Zoe's a gun smuggler and she's not immune. Shop type is blade weapons. If she's a gun smuggler, why does she sell blade weapons? Alright. Best merchandise for Zoe. Deliver three boxes of bleach with Zoe. She can support her team more efficiently and boost your overall group strength. <clears throat> Access to more powerful items at a discount. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we already have that quest done. Alright. Sam B. Quest in progress. Sam Hardy. Quest in progress. Yeah, all these are just quest in progress. So if we actually check the... We qu check the uh, quest tab. We'll see that uh, deliver three stuff to uh, lots of people. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much of this stuff we actually have, but you know. All right, we're not doing continuous quests or continuous events. All right, mines go boom. Brings Zoe four pieces of suicide or meat. Oh, okay, that's Zoe then. Okay. Uh, we need to collect more of those and two pieces of electronic scrap. I'm assuming we have the electronic scrap. Oh, also, I got the uh, Palanai Island Guide number 7 in the last episode, or in between episodes, so I wanted to read this to you guys. Lord Edward James Henderson was appointed to be the first governor of the island, and the city of Henderson was named in his honor. The original indigenous people of Palanai populated the area now known as Henderson and used it as a port, trading goods and transporting them by out, uh, outrigger canoe. Uh, trade flourished in Henderson, and it became a central hub of British maritime activity between India, Hong Kong, and Australia. Today, Henderson is a popular tourist destination. Its present gem of charming and a uh, surprising gem of charm and old world sophistication, set in the South Sea paradise. All right. I also got the venom mod in between episodes. Nothing too special. You just need two soap, two nails, two bleach, and two oleander, and just some poison. Okay, so we need um, electronic scrap. We need one more, and then suicide or meat. We need. Ah, oh, we need one more. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, we're pretty much just uh, saving, saving our uh, materials and crafting components, which is fine by me. I'm not really too picky. All right, let's take these zombies out. Just cover some stamina. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I didn't see the LB pop up at all. So, I just kept whacking it. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we're not too far from our destination. Just take a blade and some duct tape. And some ammonia. Intriguing. Let's go check in here. 
close that door behind us. We have a workbench over here. We repaired most of our weapons in the la or between episodes. Nothing too crazy. So let's uh, go ahead and repair the debilitating shovel, just in case. Ordinary Kanabo. Can't really use that. Electronic scrap. All right. Oh, looks like there's something here. What's in here? Sugarcane knife. I will probably drop that then. I'll take that. Medium med kit. I will take you. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> that is indeed a lot. Oh, oh, jeez. Who is that? Oh no. It's called an ogre in this game. Oh jeez. I can't I can't I can't throw the weapon. Why can I not? Hold on. I'm so confused. What is going on right now? I can't Okay, let's move this way. I couldn't throw the weapon. I, I couldn't throw it. I don't know. Alright, let's go up before we get hit. <clears throat> I doubt that trick works on bosses. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, dude. I don't have any more weapons. Crap. Run! Up, 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 up. Yeah, I can't use it on bosses. Can I grab my weapon from you? Hold on, please. Come on, I'm just spamming X, waiting. There we go. Please. Just need a weapon. Just need a weapon. One more. One more. We got this. <laughs> Come on. One more. Boom! Oh, now one more? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Let's take you out. Let's grab all our weapons back. <laughs> it's so cheap. Alright. Should be everyone. Alright. Can I loot any of you guys? Awe inspiring splitting axe. What did I grab? Oh, the brass knuckles. Oh man. Um let's drop a sickle. Let's take the axe. Hi Marcus. Come here. I need help. Oh, yeah, what's up there? Is that another zombie? I would assume so. Oh, it's okay. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Alright, let's recover some stamina. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Definitely still need to get the hang of this. Oh, I could have used Fury! Alright. I feel kinda silly. Alright, let's use Fury. Yeah, see, we could just... We could use Fury, and that's so much better. Yeah! I am so stupid! We have Fury for a reason! Oh, <laughs> I'm just not using it. I'm not making Let's good use of up. it. All right. Marcus, I feel a little stupid. All right, what's this? More weapons. We need to sell some stuff first. 
I just need, I need to sell something. Let's, uh, drop that. I'm just dropping everything now, I guess. And the only reason I'm not, here, actually, let's drop the, um, let's drop these two. I was keeping those on me just in case I needed to, you know, give that to Sam B or something. Because I'm not too sure how the, um, <clears throat> how the quests really work. Uh... Take that. Take all this stuff. Alright, that should be everything. Yeah. Hi, Marcus. Did the goat send you? He's accosted me. I knew they would believe on me. My disciples did not share my faith, which is why they are now carrion. I tried to warn them, but would they listen? No, they would not. Excuse me, are you Marcus? Ah, si, si. Marcus Villa is my name. And to whom do I owe my eternal gratitude? My name is Xian Mei, but that's not important. I was told you know the way to Henderson. Henderson? Yes, yes, of course I know the way. You just went and fought those things? What did they beat you? Weren't you afraid? No, I'm immune, so I can't become infected. That's why I'm out here. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. Are you the only one who is immune? No, there are five of us. We've taken shelter in Paradise, the survival camp. Paradise, yes, I know what that is. You are truly a blessing from the goats. Amazing. I'm afraid I need to ask you for one more favor, however. Just one more. My flock will survive this, for they are blessed people. Man can do nothing to us. Now then. There is a place where we keep our provisions, but it is overrun with the infected. Bring them to me, and I will tell you how to get to Henderson. Alright, sounds good. Where the dead live, deliver the tools to Marcus. Difficulties 4, XP's 4. Reward is a blue tier sh shovel. Sweet. Medium to high DPS, very low to low force, and medium to high durability. Yes. Good. Bring me the good stuff. All right, we need to find a fast travel point sometime quickly. All right, there's a quest in here, Maggie. All right, uh, Jackson, let's go return to them. And then Bruce is over here. Oh, get the things. Yep, I'm going. I am going indeed. <clears throat> so just like Dead Island, I'll probably be doing all the uh, side quests. Um, yeah, I'll probably be doing all the side quests that I can. Or ones that I find that like aren't repetitive and actually beneficial and give me items and such. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. <laughs> Alright, so let's run over here to Bruce. <laughs> Alright, is Bruce not in here? No, but there's something there. Energy drink? Alright. I'll take it. Got some lemon juice. Oh, there's Bruce in here. Maybe. Got a battery. Great holiday, isn't Whoa. it? Whoa. Um, you need some cash. Uh, sure. What's up, Bruce? You know what I'm talking about. The white stuff. White powder, the kind you, you know, put up your nose. <sighs> Bring me a few bags and I'll give you all the cash I have on me. Our dealer lives close to here. Should be, should be easy getting over there. Go get his shit and bring it back to me. Don't worry, come on, the dealer's dead. Or deadish. Anyway, who the fuck knows? Will you help me out? Again, another quest. Cash is three out of five. Okay, so if they don't give us a reward for a weapon, or as a weapon, then we'll see this. All right, white line, look for drug dealer shack in the jungle. Four skull difficulty, four star XP, three star cash. Sure. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, I'm not gonna sell it. It's for me, all of it. All right, well, we are uh, not actually gonna go there just yet. We want to grab a side quest, but there is a trader over here. 
So, let's go to them. <clears throat> I wonder if I can actually get inside uh, Henderson, though. Or not Henderson, um, Halai. Because, I mean, we did find Marcus. Are they going to open the gates for us? Thanks for your <laughs> hey. Come on in. Yeah, uh, my inventory's full, so give me a quick second. Hey, nice. Here we go, where's the cellar? Ah, upstairs. Cool. This place looks really cool. Hey. Hi, Amanda. Do you need anything? Common crafting parts. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna sell you that. Not that. That. Um, also gonna sell you... Oh, wow, really? Huh. Intriguing. I thought there'd be a lot more stuff I could just sell. Looks like we need to go to a stash, then. Let's take a spiteful shovel. Let's go loot all this stuff. Hey, what's up, Houston? My back is killing me. Bring me painkillers, please. I'll pay you. I bet this is a continuous quest. Yes. Oh, good. I am in a lot of pain. And watch this. If I go to the quest log, it's going to be a continuous quest. Boom. Wow. Bring me more. Never would have guessed that. What's up, Maggie? My name's Maggie, and my group left a while ago. They went to find a place that was safer than this shack. They were headed to Henderson. Once they found a new place, they were supposed to send someone back for me, but I haven't heard anything from them. Hopefully nothing bad has happened to them, but I'm so worried. Can you please look for them? Yeah, so if they're heading to Henderson, they most likely um, went to that uh, biotech company that's just right by the exit to Henderson. All right. Uh, safe haven. Look for Maggie's friends who went to find a safe haven. Difficulty, three skull. XP, three star. Reward is a purple tier tanto. DPS is low to medium. Force is very low to low. Durability is very low to medium. Definitely. You're a godsend. They were supposed to stop at a treehouse in the jungle. Perhaps you can start there. A treehouse in Please the jungle. My friends. That's not vague at all. <laughs> Unless that's like a specific base or something. That's extremely vague. Oh, we got a blueprint here. We got Paralyzing Strike mod. I feel like a lot of these are for just from the first game. Nope, come on. Wait. There we go. Paralyzing Strike mod. Let's check the inventory. Friends. Paralyzing strike. Okay, if you want a weapon or make those fuckers puke their guts out, follow these instructions. This simply shouldn't be too difficult, provided you have the right materials. Good luck. Two oleander, two bleach, and a stabbing weapon. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Did I actually say. Let's check that again. Let's go to paralyzing strike. Look at the weapons. They have Tijuana machete, 300 axe, Wakazashi, Zed's demise, blah, 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 blah. Eviscerator, and Assassin's Greed. That's hilarious. Alright, so let's go to Paradise Survival Camp, <clears throat> and we're going to... Where is a storage? The WHO is working on a cure for this. We just need to hold on a bit longer. Alright, Harlow, I'm taking that weapon. Thank you. God, I hate all this standing around shit. I was made to move. We need to get our asses to Henderson. Where is... Where's the person with the... with the storage? Come on, there's someone here with storage. No? Yeah, there has to be. Somewhere in here. I think it's over this way. Yeah, you. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Henry, you are now my uh, storage. All right? Cool. Have fun with that. I'm just putting all these in here. So, have fun with that. <laughs> um, Yeah, putting all those in there. Enjoy. Enjoy being storage now. You are now designated storage. Energy drink, I'll take that. Uh, lots of Molotovs, and then just take those every time we come back. All right, so now that we're actually here, let's go to the quest log real quick. And we have Wayne, Trevor, Sam B, Perna, Logan, John, Harlow, Jordan, Zoe. We have all those. So we have to turn in metal scrap to you. So you're Harlow. So let's see. Harlow, three pieces of metal scrap. There you go. Thanks a lot. Yep, we got an impact mod. That's from the first game. Deliver three belts to Logan. Thanks, friend. I mean it. 
Yep, Shock Bomb, Trevor Rogers. Henderson. Here's three wire. Perfect. Thanks. Good. Yep. We leveled up. Solid. Let's go to skills. Alright, so we're gonna go with uh poisonous. Increase poison duration. So I gotta give Zoe three boxes of bleach. Wouldn't you? There you go. Thanks a lot. This'll come in handy. Wayne's right here. Deliver three watches. Some of this stuff might come in handy. Alright. What's up, Sambi? Man, I hope Marcus knows a way out of here. Cause I really don't want to spend my final days hiding in no damn tree. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Yep, we get a Theo bomb. And if we <laughs> we're just gonna dance. Nice. Oh, yeah, new course available for Sam B. Logan for Harlow, for Sam Hardy, Trevor, Wayne, and Zoe. <clears throat> I'm sure these are kind of, sort of, these are definitely in between uh, side quest and continuous quest. You know, continues you could always do. And these are probably just like, hey, if you have the extra stuff, give it to us and we'll give you better discounts and, you know, explosives and whatnot. People are talking about Henderson, how it's still safe there. Here, um, you want weight plates? Soldier, there you go. A... Stay positive. We start losing hope and we'll lose everything. All right, we got a grenade. Cool, cool. All right, so what's in here? All right, so then we're gonna give you that. Yeah, Henry's gonna be my, like my backup storage. All right, let's go to the Halai village. <clears throat> cool. So then, I'm assuming that won't be open up very easily. All right, but now that we actually have that, I can use some painkillers. This could be a continuous quest. Let's uh, run over this way to the dead zone, shall we? Anything useful in here? Nope, does not look like it. You guys have pretty much secured off a whole little uh, section of the marina. Oh, there has to be something over here on the boat. Has to be. You can't just not have anything up here. We have a feeble big universal axe. A medium med kit and nothing else. Alright, that's super cool. Uh, at least we got a weapon out of it, I guess. Nothing too crazy. Oh. <laughs> nice job, me. You know, always wanted to fall. All right, head up here. Try to go this way. Oh, nope. Just gonna fall again. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's just run this way. I love this. You're really taking your job seriously, huh? Oh, we got slaughtering claws. Required level 40. Yo. Forgot about that. Um, let's go to our inventory. Let's put those... Yeah, alright. Let's put those there. Why not? Malicious Slicer, let's put that there. Reliable Battle Double Blade, let's put it there. And then I'll put the Slaughtering Claws. Put those there. And grenades will probably put there. So let's see, what is this? Malicious slicer, put that there, and then grenades. We have a lot of grenades. Uh, let's put grenades there. Look at that. That is insane. Alright, you know we gotta try it out. Alright, well, if there's two of them, let's just... That was it. There we go. All right, let's try them out. Whoa! What in the world just happened there? Were those bandits? They sound like bandits. Bring me more. What the hell just happened there? We just got attacked from behind by someone. I don't know who the hell it was though. But I want my weapons back. Oh yeah, it was. No. Oh, wait, hold on. What in the world? Yeah, I'm so very confused. Oh, 
Because it sounded like it was people. But... The only ones over here are zombies. Aren't you dead? How can I... Alright. Still a little confused on that. Um... But yeah, that's a little confusing. Okay. Um, looks like we lost a weapon that... Nope, never mind. Right here. Yeah. Really strange. Look, look at our... Inventory. No, let's look at skills. Oh, is this leveling hand-to-hand? -hand? That's nice. 20% more durable. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Huh, yeah, very strange. I don't know who in the world that was. Let's uh, run over this way. Oh. Dang. That's brutal. Let's run over this way. Probably. Maybe if we have time, I might clear it out on camera. If not, probably clear it out off camera then. Wow. This is, uh... Some kind of weapon. I hear more zombies coming that way. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to Tijuana Machete. Am I just... Punching you with the machete? What was that? At the very least, the sound effects were all off. Alright, let's just run the rest of the way. Take some fruit to go along with us. Got something here. I'm just gonna jump on the zombie's head. It's all good. <clears throat> Alright, looks like something's up here. Can we go in here? Seems we can. Just take that med kit. Energy. Oh no, is that canned food? Kill all the monsters in the dead zone. Oh, okay. So it's another one of these. What do we have here? So this game kind of likes, uh... Okay. Boom. This game sort of likes creating this little, uh, square, I guess. Putting a lot of enemies in it. Yeah. Oh. Alright. We'll, uh... Clear out these enemies here. Blade weapon skill level 4. Yeah, last line of defense will most likely be these. I think I want to keep them on us. And I'll be honest, I like the ability to upgrade your proficiency in uh, things you aren't an expert in. Right? Like, as Jian, we do not have to uh, be Sam B in order to use bladed weapons and, like, level up in them. You know, that's really cool. I like that. So I like that addition to this game. All right, we got one more zombie over here. Oh. We're not doing a whole lot of damage, huh? Oh, yeah. No, we are not doing a lot of damage. Let's just, uh... No? Alright. Well, hey, 
if that works. <laughs> I'll take my weapons back. I stayed back an extra bit because I tossed two grenades and I only saw one explosion. It's very, uh, wary. Alright, we got liquid fire mod and area of effect attack. Whoa, what? Hold on. Area of effect attack. Liquid fire mod. Turn your enemies into porridge. You need a blunt weapon or a shovel. Okay. Or a Chinese war sword. Intriguing. You need two lighters, two steel rods, one clamp, one belt, one large battery, and one metal scrap. We might make that soon. And we also have secret files. Secret files part two. Open world. Secret files part two. A high level political players have instructed in the military as to uh, as to what we need done. The commanders on the ground and Pal and I have been instructed to follow our lead. Mr. S. Oh. Uh, Scorpo? Skipo? Uh, the person on the, uh, the plane. Or the helicopter at the very beginning of the game. Mr. S is in Henderson. Coordinating efforts as all active operatives are now in motion. Mr. M, we don't know them yet, has had a conversation with General B, and he has ordered his troops to stand down to allow the test to proceed unimpeded. Huh. Intriguing. Well, let's go ahead and grab these tools and whatever else we can find in here, and we'll end off the episode there, shall we? Alright, so we're using Slaughtering Claws, using the T1 and Machete, Malicious Slicer, Universal Axe, Homemade Knife, that's fine. Alright, we also have an Island Guide, Pal and I Island Guide 9, the Church of Henderson. Eight, in 1895, Lady Henderson was instrumental in bringing in noted architect Edward Ingress Bell to su supervise the design and construction of a magnif mag magnificent excuse me, new and Anglican church in the town of Henderson. The church became a center of so uh, social activity, and Lady Henderson was devoted to educating and converting the local indigenous population to Christianity. However, no local indigenous people were allowed to actually attend services at the Church of Henderson until long after Lady Henderson's death. And lastly... The equipment for Marcus. Alright, so we'll probably be uh, back at Marcus's in uh, the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm very curious to see what those secret files will end up being and if we can find more. Anyways, though, this will have to do it for today's episode. So I hope you all have enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.